YouTube, this is JS Man Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Audacity, and this is a this is a tutorial that I've been questioned of several times in the comments section. I never really wanted to make the tutorial because it's kind of a very simple tutorial, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial because it is missing from my Audacity playlist. So today we're going to be showing you how to create your own ringtone. So yes, uh, creating a ringtone is pretty cool in Audacity. I'm going to show you some pretty neat things you can do in Audacity. Yes, there is the simple way to do a ringtone. You just drag a song into Audacity, you cut it up, and then you export it as an MP3. It's very simple. I'm going to show you how you can do some pretty cool things to your ringtone and then add it to your phone. Now be aware your phone has to support mp3 files, it has to support the fact that you can actually set your own ringtones. Most newer phones are able to do that, however if you're sitting with a very old phone you probably are not going to be able to do it. So just be aware about that. So what I have, I have, I'm going to be making a, my ringtone may not sound the best, however this is just for demonstration purposes. I want to show you what you can actually do. You can do a lot of things to make your ringtone sound cool. So I'm going to be making a ringtone based off of a League of Legends song with some other sound bites. So in my folder here I have my assets. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can drag your file in or you can go up to file here, go to import and then go to audio and you can do it that way too. However, I'm just going to go ahead and drag. So we're going to go ahead and drag our file in. And uh, what you want to do now is basically look for a part of a song that you want to have your ringtone. You don't want to have the entire song your ringtone because that's not really going to work properly. Uh, besides, the phone, only, the phone only rings for like 30 seconds anyway. So if you want to have a ringtone, you want to have between 15 to 30 seconds. So uh, the part of the song that I like already, I already know what part, is around the 45 second mark. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in by control plus or by holding the control in the mouse wheel. So right around here, I want to have my ringtone start. Right there. So right around when it starts going dun 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 dun. That's where, that's where I want my, my ringtone to start. So I'm going to find that specific spot. So right around there. Now when you found your spot, just go ahead and grab your select tool, which is this tool right here, and go ahead and drag from the spot you want to delete and drag all the way back. This is the portion that I don't want. I don't want any of this audio. So I'm just going to keep on dragging until I get to the very start, and then I'm going to press backspace to delete. And then when we start it here, now we got to find the end part. Where do we want this ringtone to end? So right around there, I, I think we'll end it right around here. So right around there. 15 seconds. So the rest of this we don't need. So you're gonna, same thing, drag with your selection tool to the very end and delete everything that you don't want after. So we're at the end here. We're going to go ahead and press delete. And as you see, all we have is basically 15 seconds of audio. Now to make your ringtone sound better, we're going to add some effects. And one of the effects we're going to add is fading in and fading out. You want to have your ringtone fade in and fade out so it sounds natural and you don't have this weird transition. So at the very beginning, I'm probably going to have like a half a second uh, fade in or maybe like a, a three quarters of a second. So I'm going to go ahead and drag from three quarters of a second down to the very beginning. Head up to effects and then find the fade in option. And what you'll see if we listen to this... There we go, have this nice fade in. We're gonna do the exact same thing for the ending. So around three quarters of a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag from here, maybe to right around, uh, let's see. This is half a second, this is about three quarters of a second, so right around here. And back up to effects again, and we're gonna find fade out this time. So there's fade out. And if you listen to that, right there. And you can make the fade in or fade out as long as you want. I'm just deciding to do three quarters of a second. Now, if that's all you wanted to do, then that's fine. However, there's some other cool things you can do too. You do have the ability to record. So if you want to record something over your ringtone, if you want to have your own voice record over, like answer the phone, answer the phone, or <laughs> some other crazy thing you want to say, you can very easily do that. Just go ahead and go up to track and make a new track. So up here is tracks. Go to uh, new track, add new, and then find stereo track. And then in this, uh, in this second stereo track, we're just going to go ahead and start recording. So let's just do a little weird test recording. Test recording, one, two, three. And what you'll notice is that now this, this recording will play on top of your music. Test recording, one, two, three. So you can add your own cool little uh, recordings if you want to do that. 
However, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and grab two other sound bites from League of Legends. Now, my favorite champion on that game is Riven. So I have some Riven sound bites. I'm going to go back into my folder. And here are the two sound bites that I have. All I'm going to do is drag it into Audacity. So here they are. And then all I'm going to do is reposition them. So I'm going to grab the uh, so I'm going to grab the time shift tool up here. This is the time shift tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag these to the position I want. So I think uh, if I want to only preview one audio track, I can press solo here and it'll mute everything else. So let's listen to this one. I am awakened. So I kind of want that to be near the end and I want to have this one near the beginning. I think this is the one that I want. This one is that's muting solo what is broken can be reforged so i want to have that near the beginning so i'm going to go ahead and position this somewhere near the beginning let's take a listen what is broken can be reforged that sounds good and then near the end i am awake i actually well, what i want to do is i want to have that quote come after the music fades out so maybe something like this i am awakened yeah, maybe I want to have to fade a little longer so it kind of blends in more properly. Maybe we move it forward a bit. I am awakened. Yeah, I might want to have a longer fade. And there are a lot of other effects you can do. You know, you can be very creative with your ringtone. You can record your own things. You can record sound effects. You can get different sound effects. You can record other people even. If you want to have a custom voice message, you can do a custom voice message. Just record yourself and save it as an MP3. So a lot of cool things you can do in Audacity uh, to create your own ringtone. Just make sure it's short, you know, between 15 to 30 seconds. And then make sure you save it as an MP3 file, which we'll do next. And then make sure your phone's capable of allowing a ringtone as an MP3. So now we're going to go up to File. And you want to find export. Now I have a dark audacity, so I have to go to save other. But for those of you who have the regular audacity, make sure you go to export and then export it as a MP3. So here I have export as MP3. Now, for some reason, it doesn't work for you. If for some reason you can't uh, export it as an MP3, you may have to download the LAME, the lame plugin. I do have a video specifically for Audacity on how to download that, how to install it, and how to export as an MP3. I'll leave a card on screen right now that links to that video as well as a link in the description. So if you want to learn how to export as MP3 because Audacity does not do it by default, I do have a video for that. So check that out if you don't have that done yet, if you don't have that plugin yet. So we're just going to go ahead and save it as a test ring as MP3. Press OK. Press OK on that. If you get a chart like this, you can just ignore it. Press OK on it. And then basically after that, you can email yourself the MP3 file. It's a very small file size, so you can definitely uh, transfer it through email. You can upload it somewhere and uh, download it from your phone. If you want to transfer it directly to your phone through a USB cable, if your phone allows that, you can definitely do that as well. And then just either download an app that allows you to uh, set a ringtone. I think Zedge, Z-E-D-G-E, -E, is one of the apps that allows you to set ringtones for Android. And uh, if, if your phone allows you to set custom ringtones without an app, then you can do that as well. That's pretty much how to create your own ringtone and then apply it to your phone. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down at the bottom. Would really appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other Audacity tutorials on the channel and lots of other editing tutorials regarding video, image, different audio tutorials. So if you want to check that out, definitely recommend to subscribe. Lots of helpful content on our channel. And if you want to donate $8 to my Patreon page, anything as low as that is very helpful and very much appreciate it. Click the card in the top right hand corner on the screen or bring it to the page and if you want to check out my vlogging channel the gaming channel the advice channel or the music channel links are in the description as well as on the end screen and that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching as always hopefully you're having a good evening and this is gsmail smart and i'll be back soon you think don't go anywhere